Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a bit of a different video. I'm doing a video about the kind of pre-holiday prep that goes into traveling, well, the idea is abroad, but I suppose you could apply a lot of this to just a trip around whatever country you're currently in. I recently flew to Barcelona, there's loads of vlogs up on my channel on that, and I didn't check a bag, so I just took carry-on luggage, and it kind of made me realize you can't bring your whole life everywhere you go with you. I'm also traveling to Greece in September for 10 days, so I'll be checking a bag for that holiday and going with my boyfriend Connor. So I'm just gonna discuss basically the kind of things I do before I go away, the kind of things you definitely should bring when going on holiday, and the things that you actually really don't need, or that I found that I didn't need anyway. Things I do before going on holiday are, well, I will be getting a wax, obviously not essential, but you know, I basically grooming really bad. I don't shave my legs very often at all because I have really, really bad dry skin. It's really annoying though. Well, it's not annoying. I suppose it's a good thing. I have um, eczema pretty much all over my body, but you can't see it. I'll get random little tiny, tiny red irritated patches once in a blue moon. I'm pretty, I moisturize a lot, so I take care of it, but it just, it looks fine but it gets really, really itchy. So I'm just there like So I never shave my legs basically because it just aggravates the whole situation. But I suppose if I'm gonna be in a bikini and stuff like that, I will be grooming. I've had my underarms waxed before, but I just don't find that it lasts very long and you have to let your underarms grow for like at least six to eight weeks. It's just not worth it. But everywhere else, <laughs> God. I will do my nails before I go away. Um, I need to do them now, but do my fingers and toes um, Paying I suppose extra attention to my toes. I don't like my feet anyway So I feel like when my toenails are painted nicely, which is never never ever 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 um, I just live in socks But if my toenails are painted nicely, then it's not as bad and I just feel more Polished all over when I'm not all tatty and chipped. Maybe I should do these later. The nail varnishes I've been loving at the moment is the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Nail Varnishes. This is the top coat, and then I have it in shade 470, which is red eye, which looks more coral in this light for some reason, and 110 Birthday Suit, which is a nice nude. I also have a nail hardener and cuticle oil, which I'm testing out at the moment, so if they're any good, I'll let you know. I'll put them in a favourites. What I'll also do is a lot of exfoliating, just to get rid of any dead skin that's there. Because if you want a nice tan, you kind of want it on the skin that's going to be like there for a little while. Not on old dry skin. I'm not a dermatologist, so who knows, that could be utter rubbish. But that's what I feel anyway. Um, yeah, I always moisturise anyway, otherwise I will rip my skin off due to dry skin. So that's not an issue really boring stuff like travel insurance. Travel insurance is essential. I went to New York last September and I was very unwell and had to go to the doctors and it would have cost $100 out there but I got it for free. I also though ended up with prescription medication out there but and I could have claimed that back but I just never bothered because it wasn't very expensive. I don't wash my hair very much so I will probably wash my hair before I go. Is that even worth mentioning? Probably not. Hi. With my holiday being four weeks away, I'm trying to start eating a little better. I have supposedly been doing this since Christmas, but nothing is yet to happen. So this is a good incentive. I'm gonna be in a bikini, so I want to look good and be comfortable. I just wanna be healthier so that like, when I'm uncomfortable on a sun lounger, drinking a cocktail, I'm not like, oh, remember those 50 spice bags you had? Just put them down. Next, I'm gonna talk about things that I personally found I did not need at all, and I brought away with me, and were absolutely useless. And the number one thing is makeup. In a hot country, I just don't wear much makeup at all. I would wear a full face after dinner, but I make up very little, because I just can't be bothered. It's too hot, I just, can't be bothered, maintenance and taking it all off when I get home, it's just not necessary. I'll bring a foundation, powder, you know, all the all the basics, 
and then maybe one eyeshadow palette. But that's it. I just didn't use any of it really. So, do not need tons and tons of makeup. This is just personal preference. I'm sure lots of people bring it all and use it all, but not once on holiday have I done that. So, following on from that, what I also didn't use when I was away because lazy, you go out for dinner, you go for a few drinks, you get home half 11. Every night, I'm kind of getting bored of staying up doing a really extensive skincare routine while I'm supposed to be on holiday. So I'm gonna bring out the forbidden makeup wipes. These makeup wipes are actually really nice. These are the Johnson's Extra Sensitive Makeup Wipes. I am extra sensitive. <laughs> when you buy them, they're not dry already because I find some makeup wipes when you buy them and the first one is dry anyway. But yep, they don't burn my skin at all and they just do a really good job. I usually only need one and I might need like a bit of eye makeup remover then for my eyes. But then on holiday, I don't use that much eye makeup anyway. So following up from that, because makeup wipes are not enough really, we all know that. I recently been using these Nip and Fab exfoliating pads. They are the Glycolic Fix Daily Cleansing Pads. So I'd use these morning and night and they are so good. They've cleared my skin up so much and I can't believe it and they're the easiest thing to use as well it's not like a face mask that you have to leave on but you have to steam your skin beforehand so you open your pores put on the mask wait 20 minutes let it dry exfoliate it off just for like a semi acceptable result these are brilliant basically a makeup wipe that actually works wonders for your skin I don't use these in the morning because you're not supposed to have excessive sun exposure with them but use these at night after this and you can just get off any makeup that you can't see. My face skin is so sensitive when I go on holidays. The heat, sweat, sun cream, chlorine and salt water are lethal and just any other irritations. All of them combined together make my skin go crazy when I go abroad. So I have to make sure I have a really good moisturizer that's like actually not too like perfumed or colored or anything like that that's gonna really hurt my face. My face gets really stingy and it will actually peel on the cheeks. Like I'll, I'll, if I burn my nose, my nose will peel, but like who burns their cheeks? No one, so it's not sunburn. It's literally my skin just so dry and like help me that it just dies and falls off. This I actually get from Lidl. This is the CN Anti-Wrinkle Q10 Day Cream. It's a really nice consistency. It's it's thick, but it's not, you know, like, it's not like night, the night cream is much thicker than this. It's lovely and it soaks in really easily. So this, after those, is amazing. And that's then three skincare products. And that's kind of all you need really on holidays. Loads of shoes is another thing you do not need. I brought a pair of heels to Barcelona, did not wear them didn't want to wear them, had no interest in wearing them. Sometimes, if I'm going for a long time, I might wear them once, but it's just not worth it, particularly because they're usually uh, the, the heaviest thing you'd have in your bag. So if you're stuck for weight, why bring a pair of heels? I always end up walking to the restaurant anyway, so I'll end up crippled on the way home. May as well just bring some nice, smart sandals. Are any sandals nice? You know, like your nicest pair of sandals and wear them instead. If you're lucky, like I, like me, I think I'm pretty lucky in this department, to have hair that doesn't really require heat being put on it, um, then just don't bring any styling products. Just don't bother. If you're going to a hot country, your hair will dry. It will dry. I've brought straighteners and curlers and stuff away before and not even looked at them. They've not even left the suitcase. It's a huge waste of space. It's kind of dodgy because stuff like that can get broken when you take them away. You need an adapter for them. It's just not worth it, really. And yeah, I, I'm basically the trend with this is I'm lazy when I go on holidays. So I need to start bringing stuff with me and pretending that I'm going to use them. The final thing that I think you really do not need to bring with you is technology besides something to listen to music with if you're sunbathing for an extended period of time and a camera, you know, for memories. I did bring my laptop to Barcelona. My memory byte is only two gigabytes, so I need to put everything from it onto my laptop each night and then 
I can empty it and I'm good to go again the next day. So that's the reason I brought my laptop. I'm gonna try and get a bigger memory card before I go away to Greece so I don't have to bring it with me, but we'll just have to wait and see. Now a list of things that you should bring with you. So if you're sensitive like me, I would really advise bringing antihistamines with you. They saved my life. Um, I start taking them a couple of days before I go away and then take one each night because they kind of make me drowsy. Um, yeah, I get really bad prickly heat if I'm not careful and it literally feels like someone with gloves with tiny little needles on them is just going... On your back, or well I got it on my back, on, or wherever. I had it on my chest recently after Barcelona. If you follow my shop now, you know I was asking people for help. Please, it's horrible and it's not even itchy, it's itchy as well, but it feels like you're being stabbed. Something I feel like I would forget, but I'm hopefully gonna remember now that I'm putting it in this video, is a beach towel. Um, if you're staying in a hotel, wherever you're staying, we'll have bath towels. Obviously, no, probably don't expect you to air dry, but, <laughs> but a beach towel, if you're going and you want to have something to lie on, either at the beach or by the pool, or you wanna save a lounger by the pool, you need a beach towel, they won't be given to you. Back to the whole my face skin problem. Um, I can't use body sun cream on my face because it just increases the whole itchy, fiery situation. So I will probably, I haven't got one yet, but by a sensitive face sun cream, it just makes the whole situation a lot better. It's also better for your skin. Like my skin gets very clear when I go on holidays for the first week and then it goes back to normal. So if you're adding sun cream to your face, I always find it so thick. It breaks me out really badly. I am a face sweater. Yeah, I said it. I sweat the most on my face and like here if I have a brown. But yeah, it's a nightmare. So my number one thing when I go on holiday is waterproof makeup. Not for swimming, but because I'm so sweaty. I bought this in the duty free on the way to Barcelona and it's the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. And it is, it's pretty waterproof, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't need waterproof makeup to go in the pool. I won't wear makeup all day when I'm on holiday just for the evenings, but I'll still sweat. I'll still sweat, so lifesaver. Also waterproof mascara, I guess, if you want to go in the pool. Bug spray. Bugs are a nightmare. I used to never get bitten, and when I did, they were tiny. But in the past couple of years, I guess my blood has gotten sweeter because bugs like me a lot more. You should see what happens to my mum though. When she gets bitten, she gets like blisters this big. And it's just not worth it. I don't like being itchy. I already have itchy skin, so it's at night really. You know, when you're going out for dinner, just a little bit on the arms and legs, sorted. Books. Books and magazines and things to read because sunbathing, it's boring as hell. If you want that tan, you gotta go out in the sun. So buy a magazine, get a really trashy book where a nanny and a gardener find love in their rich, like, employer's house, but there's a drama, but then it's okay. Or they canoodle. And then fashion magazines are just so easy, you don't even need to read them, just flip. An adapter doesn't need to be said. Bring your nail varnish with you because nothing is worse than this when it's worse and all. Oh, nothing is worse than that other than when it's worse than this. Oh my god, someone teach me how to speak. Bring your nail varnish with you, particularly if you have a dark colour on your toes or fingers because it also looks tatty and horrible, she says, with chipped nails. Okay, so I just spent the last ages trying to find my miniature dry shampoo and my miniature salt spray, but I couldn't. So just use your imaginations. If your hair doesn't cooperate on holiday, salt spray is your friend. Salt spray makes it look like your hair is shit on purpose, but in a cool way. So you're like, oh, I don't care. Salt spray just makes your hair all like tousled and oh, look, I didn't even try, but like I did try it just a little bit. And then we all know what dry shampoo does, it just saves lives. What you also need is headphones and earphones. Bring them both, because headphones are better, but earphones means, like earphones gives you the option of just one. So if you wanna lie with your head like this, 
when you're sunbathing, you just pop that one out. Why am I talking like this? Oh my God. Yeah, headphones, earphones, bring them together. You, everything's available. One of these things, I got this in pennies. If you have any like beauty product that you really wanna bring with you that's massive and you can't, cause it'll be really heavy and you don't need that much, Socks for the airplane, your feet are gonna get cold. Basically just dress sensibly for the airplane. I wore leggings and a backless t-shirt and my Birkenstocks on the plane to Barcelona. And I was so comfortable when I got off the plane, I was not too hot, I was absolutely fine, and I was warm enough on the plane. People show up in basically a bikini to get on the plane and I'm like, you are gonna be freezing. Please dress sensibly for the plane. <laughs> I also, that big scarf I bought in Barcelona will be coming with me as a blanket. <laughs> also, sucky sweets. I don't have any with me right now. They're in the other room. I should have got them, never mind. Hard boiled sweets. You can get really delicious sugar-free ones. You can get them at the airport. You don't really need to get them beforehand. Firstly, they're delicious. Secondly, if you get any ear problems on the plane, they do really help eventually if you suck hard enough. Painkillers. I have them in my bag anyway. Plasters. Oh, sunglasses. These are filthy. These aren't my favorites, but they're similar. Lastly, these. Don't forget, you'll hate yourself if you do. Okay, I'm gonna go now. If this video was in any way helpful, then you were in serious need of help because none of this was new to anyone, I highly doubt. But you know, I'm excited to go on holiday. So let me know if you want me to vlog Greece as well. I won't vlog as much because I'm going for a lot longer time. So there's no point. And I'm not gonna do 10 videos of Greece. That'd be dreadful. Right. Okay guys, thank you for watching. As usual, I will leave all the info down below, stuff like that. An antihistamine away keeps the prickly heat. No, never mind. <laughs>